everybody it is 10 43 we do start our days later just because i don't know i wake up when victoria wakes up and she wakes up at around 10 so by the time we get like ready and everything for the day that's usually when we start so first before anything before i start cooking victoria always asks for her milk in the morning so i just give her some milk she's slowly weaning down now she has about just one milk a day just in the morning and then that's it and i water it down because i don't know why <laughs> leche so for breakfast today i'm going to be preparing one of the things that we eat maybe two three times a week banana oat pancakes because i love pancakes but i feel bad if i eat pancakes that many times a week yeah. pancakes yes <laughs> i'm gonna also try and measure for you guys because usually i don't measure but i'm gonna do half a cup of oats then i'm using almond flour but not because i'm gluten free they just didn't have regular flour at the store at Trader Joe's so I had to get almond flour and then about mm, a little less than half a cup of almond flour and then I use bananas so right now I have half a banana that we didn't use and but usually I just use one banana but a little, a little extra is okay and I sweeten with maple syrup I put vanilla extract a little milk just so it all blends better and an egg. egg egg and about a half teaspoon of baking powder just so they fluff up and then i mix so that is going to be our pancake mix and every day is different like sometimes i will not add the flour i'll maybe add the flour once a week just because since i'm pregnant i'm trying not to gain that much weight but you know, sometimes I like to splurge a little like today, so we added the, the flour. Not too high of heat because these cook faster than regular pancake mix, so I do it around here. So I don't only like eating sweets in the morning and neither does Victoria because then I feel like it's too much sugar, you know, and today we had lots of mushrooms. Victoria loves mushrooms, so we're gonna do one egg. Egg! Egg! And in the egg, I add just a tiny bit of milk, like a splash in there. And that makes all the difference when you cook your egg. I'm gonna saute that mushroom first. So if you follow me, you know I usually like make really elaborate Mexican dishes, which I do at least once a day, but realistically speaking, not three times a day. So to me, this is a very simple meal. I make it so quick. It takes me like 15 to 20 minutes to make this whole meal. That's why I resort to this pancakes because it barely makes a mess. I only use this and then the pans. And as you can see, I barely have a mess. Uh, I let those get soft. I'm gonna start with my pancakes now. So you can use butter or coconut oil to make our first pancake. See, they cook super fast, so once you start seeing just a little bit of bubbles, that's when you flip them. And there's our first pancake. While my pancake is cooking, I'm going to add the egg here. And since these pancakes cook so fast, it's already time to flip this one. That's what I am telling you. It's just such a fast, this whole process is such a fast meal. Oops. Then I start cleaning dishes while I let things cook. I like to do things super fast in the mornings, like just get things done. Clean as I go, I cooking as I go, I'm trying to get everything done. And it's not even like I'm on a hurry. We literally have nothing to do. I just, I don't know, I just have this tick in me to do everything fast. And the last pancake. So that made how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that everything's done, I'm gonna set up Victoria's plate. I'll just cut the pancakes into little strips for her so it's easier to hold. And then I put whatever fruits we have. So right now we have lots of blackberries and blueberries. She loves blueberries. And we also have oranges. <laughs> That's Victoria, she's already asking for her food and then i'm gonna put the omelet here on one side and then i put some ketchup on her omelet because she loves ketchup and eggs and for her pancakes i don't put maple syrup or honey or anything i just 
put some Greek yogurt on there. Bon appetit. And there is Victoria's plate. She's got her fruit, she's got her protein, and I mean, that's healthy too. It's grains, right? Because it has oats. She's waiting. Comida. Comida. <laughs> first every time. Nice. And now I'm preparing my plate. So mine is essentially the same, except I like to use tapatio on my eggs because I like that spice. Let's taste these pancakes. I got the yogurt and everything now. Mm. They're super yummy. Obviously, they don't taste like actual pancakes because they don't have all that stuff in them. But they're still super good. They get rid of that pancake craving and you just don't feel as guilty. Like, we'll probably eat all these pancakes. And it's just basically oats and bananas. So it's not that big of a deal. Mm. Down to the last bite. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Okay, she's so full. I can tell. You don't have to eat it if you don't want it. Well, there you have it, folks. Baby ate all of it. Her spilled some milk, so I'm making her clean it. I don't get mad at her, but I make her clean it. <laughs> Muy bien. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Muy bien. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Victoria just woke up from her nap. She's not as happy as in the morning. <laughs> hey guys, so it is now lunch time. Are you ready? So for lunch today, we are gonna be having enchiladas suizas. Very simple, all you need is tomatillos, onion, garlic, some cilantro, and some of this cream cheese for the sauce. And also you can add some kind of like jalapenos or serrano peppers, but since Victoria's having this, I don't want to make it spicy for her, but I would usually add some kind of spice to it. Right now I have my water about to boil, so while I wait for it to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chicken. And for my chicken, I just season it with salt and pepper, and that's it. I feel like it tastes really good just with that, especially since there's so much going on. And these other flavors of the sauce and stuff, you don't really need to add that much stuff to it so and I do it on both sides in my left hand because I grab chicken with my right so we don't want to contaminate now we wash our hands so I got my pan here on medium high heat so I'm gonna add some oil and I'm gonna start cooking the chicken I cook the chicken on both sides for three minutes that's usually how long it takes. And now that my water is boiling, I am going to add my tomatillos in there. And you're gonna let those boil for around 15 to 20 minutes or until they start getting like lighter in color. So go ahead. Now that these have cooked for a little over three minutes on one side, I'm going to flip them. And my chicken is done. So I'm just gonna put it in a bowl for now. And since there's still oil and some chicken flavor in there, I'm going to saute this onion and four garlics in there. And that way it gets a bunch of chicken flavor in there. And now it's also about the time where I put my oven for 350. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and it looks like these are ready. So, real good. Ooh, and then you get a little facial, steam facial. Now that I saute these, I'm gonna put them in the blender. And now we add our tomatillos. And I'm going to add some cilantro, just a bunch. And some chicken cube. I'll do like half and then I'll taste it and then I'll decide if I put the other half. And half of a Philadelphia cheese stick. And some water. And hopefully it blends. I need a bigger blender for sure. This is tiny, but you gotta make do. Now that we have our sauce ready to go, ready to rock, we are gonna put it in that same pan that I fried up all the chicken. I'm gonna put it in there and let it cook even more. This is gonna make the sauce a lot thicker. 
And this is a lot of sauce. That way I have that sauce there. I can add it to basically any dish that I want. Like it doesn't have to just be for enchiladas. I can make chilaquiles tomorrow. I can just add it to my eggs. It's just, it'll, it'll be used. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to just tear apart that chicken that I cooked earlier so that we can, mm, that's so nice and juicy. Just so we can easily put it in the enchiladas. You want some? Here. Mmm. So I shredded the chicken. I have my minced onion ready to put in there. You don't have to put onion in there, but I just like having the little bit of crunch. So I have this pan here hot, and I'm gonna add oil in there, and we're gonna fry our tortillas in there. So you don't want them to get crispy, you just want a little fry to them. So once they start getting bubbles, then you dip it in here. You start preparing your first one, so just put your chicken in there. Yeah. Yeah. This was so much easier back when I had Enrique so he could record me while I'm doing this. And then your onion. And there you go. You got your first enchilada. And then you just repeat the process till you fill this. I'm gonna add even more sauce on top. So just make sure it's coated. Mmm. Oh yes. Then you can use whatever cheese. This is all I have right now. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. I put these in the oven until the cheese melts, which is like five, sometimes a little more, but around five minutes but it is so worth it at the end. They are so good. Definitely one of my favorite enchiladas. I definitely like these more than the red ones, for sure. They're ready. Ooh. Aren't these beautiful? Enchiladas Suizas, made by Kareni. Delish. So I serve them with queso fresco. We both have queso fresco. Usually I do a little side salad and bean, but today we're just having enchiladas because I haven't made beans and I haven't bought salad, so. <laughs> and there we go, we have two enchiladas suizas. They don't look that pretty, huh? But they're delicious, I assure you. I cut this up for Victoria just so it's easier for her. There you go, madame. Hope you enjoy your lunch. Now I'm going to do my taste test. Mmm, it's amazing, right? Mmm, it's so good, so good. If you try it, let me know. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. Definitely one of my favorite Mexican dishes to eat and to make, just because it's so easy. Tori is basically done. She has two enchiladas. <laughs> What's that face for? Yeah, she's. Ooh, nice job, wow. She's been getting better with the fork. She's still kind of a noob at it. I killed my plate. So it is now dinner time. It's 8.05. Yes, that is a very late dinner, but ever since Enrique left, our schedule's been kind of all over the place. So yeah, we have dinner pretty late. And usually we don't even have dinner. And if I do make dinner, it's something really light, like what I'm about to make or we just snack on something. So today is a very light, but still a very common dish that I make. Just because it's very healthy, nutritious, and delicious. I grew up having this all the time when I was little. Um, it's called calabazas con elote, which is just zucchini, corn, some onion. It seems so simple, but it's packed with flavor. And you also eat it with some rice, which I'm cooking right now. And this water's ready and boiling, so I'm gonna put my two corns in there. You can just do canned corn, but I promise you, if you just take that extra time to do actual corn, it's gonna taste 10 times better. The canned corn compared to the fresh corn is a major difference. And I am telling you right now, don't use canned corn, which please don't use canned corn. All we're gonna do is chop up our veggies. My 
popcorn is almost ready. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit not ready, it'll still cook fully in the pan. And we're still gonna use this pan. So all you need for this meal is some oil. I'm gonna use olive oil right now. And then you're gonna add your onions and your zucchini. Just gonna use my hand. And now you're gonna cut the corn. Mmm, it's so delicious, it's so sweet, so fresh. And you're gonna add your corn in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there, just so it has some Caldo. I don't know what you call caldo in English. I'm like trying to think of the word. Broth? Just so it has a little bit of broth in there. I think I'm gonna add some more. And to season, all I'm gonna use is chicken bouillon, chicken stock, chicken powder. I'm gonna do about one tablespoon and then go from there. And that is all I use and honestly, that's all it needs. And then cook. So that usually takes around five to 10 minutes to cook. It actually cooks super fast. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and these are ready. So it also just depends how firm you want your zucchini. Mine is like not overly squishy, but just still got a nice squish to it. So this is how I like it. And a cute little trick I learned is for your rice, just put it in something with a shape like this. You just flip it over. And it's so cute, it's just a little cube of rice, or circle, sorry. <laughs> there we go, we have our zucchini plates. I always eat it with some chicken and rice. So this is just the chicken that I made earlier for the enchiladas. And now we're using it for a third meal. Here you go, your highness. Dinner is served. And of course we have to do the taste test. I always add tapatio. I feel like I've added it to all my meals today, but that's just that's just how we do. Mm, 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 mm. So so yummy, so simple. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it's just there's barely any ingredients there, but it just has so much flavor. With the fresh corn, it's here. With the canned corn, it's like right here. So definitely take that extra step. So that was it for today's what we eat in a day. A little less extravagant than my last one. I wanted to do something more realistic since it's only me and Victoria now. All the meals that I made today, I make them at least once a week, if not more. And another clean plate. Well, almost, she's getting there. You know what, you guys? She didn't like zucchini. Like this dish, she didn't like it for the longest time. She would eat the corn, but not the zucchini, but I always just offered it and offered it. Like the past two times that I've made it for her, she finally eats the zucchini. So if you have a baby, a toddler and they don't like something even five times still just keep offering it there's been a lot of foods that victoria does not like and now she likes them or at least she eats them so don't give up don't let these little boogers control you <laughs> there we go nice you hear zucchini we did <laughs> by the way she put that on herself she's such a little diva with her clothes i tell you but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have more recipes that you would like me to cook, Mexican dishes or honestly anything. I cook a lot of different types of foods. I just, I love cooking. I honestly love it. I wish I had a huge kitchen with a bunch of cool kitchen gadgets. Oh my God, my dream. But I still make do with what I have. So yeah, send me some ideas of what you'd like me to cook. I can make more of what I eat in a day or just a video more in depth more in depth with one recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for all the love and all the support. I truly appreciate it. I always read each and every single comment. You guys are the best. All right, well thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Say bye. Bye. bye.